who are right, so can we uh, <laughs> move to something that sounds a bit also like um, this uh, Rambo style rioting uh, staffer with uh, people evicting persons but once again let's let's salute uh, um, Atta Acha, the Minister for Works and Housing very very yeah, so we should nice. follow up to if find out what action is taking taking in this way then I'm sure that we'll get, we'll get, yeah, we'll get Yeah, but, but since we should go beyond that to yes. find out Whether what actually is happens or happen. yeah. Okay, okay. In fact, there was somebody at the, at the Attorney General's Department, very senior person, you know, led by the estate people to go into a bungalow. And she was there to resist and force that it would not happen. The estate people were there. She wouldn't even listen to the estate people. You know, it took Atacha to call her to order. Thank you. Right. So the defense minister has also been taking some um, audits of military lands <laughs> and determining who is fit or not fit to be in which part of the military lands. In fact, there's military land that he says that the military uh, have intentions of acquiring but have not yet acquired and he has problem with people who are on that land because they have intentions to acquire <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it has become an issue it has become an issue now the after he made his comments that sought to you know tell the public that president mahama ex-president mahama had done something wrong the east dade kotopon development trust that own uh, those lands came out to speak. Let's hear what they had to say. They were led by Ni Odoi <coughs> Yemo, who is the CEO of the East Dadekotopon Development Trust. Let's hear him. A portion of it used to be military training grounds, a proposal. We took the military to court and had judgment and had it uh, removed. So the land as we speak is land with, by which we ha there is the Adequate Plan Development Trust has been granted land title certificate over it. It is not military land. In fact, the military, per their incursions, we decided to sit with them, and they mentioned of uh, a a, uh, an emery at the boundary. So we decided to give them a buffer. So if anything at all, it is the military that has taken our land, and not we taking their land. I want to be clear in my mind. Is it the same one that's been developed in a way that the ex-president Mohammed's residence is supposed to be on, together with other developers? Yes. Is it the same place? That land is pure and simple in the East Dadeco Development Development uh, Trust that's title it. certificate. And if I get you right, the East Dadeco Development Development Trust is the one that entrusted this land into the hands of these developers. In fact, the developers are there as partners. They partner us to develop, so we are still interested in it. Okay, so the possession of that particular land by the developers is legitimate? Yes. And not military land? No, 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 it's not military land. So why do you in fact, the military at Bama camp, there is no clear-cut acquisition for the military. The military are existing on an old airport acquisition acquired in 1944. There, no land has been acquired for the military at that area. Right. <laughs> but what exactly did the defense minister say? Let's hear him. Some politicians who are supposed to have uh, provided and covered the armed forces were now writing to the armed forces to say that if you have no money, I think the AG did that. If you have no money, then release the land to the owner, not knowing they were buying the land themselves. How can you do this? I want to advise the former president that he should look for a place and leave, because that is a very dent on him. It's not good for him. When he was a president, he shouldn't live there. I am not satisfied with the state of that land, and I would advise the former president to leave that place, because it's not good. He should have protected the armed forces, but today if you are living in that area, you are giving other perpetrators to do what they are doing. And it's not good for us. I'm talking about the former president, John Mahama. Okay, finally, he had a reply from the office of the former president. 
the aide to the former president, Joyce Bar Mukhtari, um, did, did reply. Let's hear her. The defense minister had no business whatsoever, absolutely none, to name the former president in this particular instance. I do think that there are several ways in which he could have communicated with the office of the former president, take it that he had some questions that required responses. I think the defense minister on this occasion acted in bad faith. I think he owes the former president an apology, and I believe that the records are there and speak for themselves. We all now know that the so-called military lands do not belong to the lands, at least there's a judgment to that effect, specifically. The lands that are owned by Chain Homes, the real estate company, are not military lands. And indeed, the defense minister had no business mentioning his name in that manner. He showed a lot of disrespect. He was distasteful. He actually misled the general public. Do you think? Right. So, um, Mama Yaga, he was, he was giving advice don't mind that he may have been a bit on top of his voice. It was just an advice that don't stay, don't live there. If you do that, you are giving impetus to other people to come and live in an area that they have, the military has, you know, intention of acquiring. What did he do wrong and why should he have, be apologizing for what? Um, <clears throat> you know, when you transition from a deputy minority leader, which job requires that you have a certain posture, a certain attitude, and way of speaking to become a defense minister of the Republic of Ghana. A lot more is expected of you in terms of what you say, how you say it, and where you say it, because you uh, superintend over a very sensitive institution. So that is what I would simply say about the defense minister and the way that he has spoken. The facts are now known, so I don't think that there's any uh, need to litigate those uh, facts. I think that being a former minister of state myself, I have been overly worried about the issues of lands belonging to state institutions and how those lands are managed. Very often there are issues. One, as a minister, you, you want to defend what you believe to be public land. And very often also, the evidence really is that you can't establish that indeed they are you know, public land. Sometimes the problem of documentation. And sometimes when you really trace back the history is completely different. I mean, we all assume that that whole area called Burma Camp belongs to the government of Ghana. Now, you listen to the East Dade Kotopong uh, Development Trust, and they are telling us that it doesn't belong to the government of Ghana. As a portion of it was acquired in 1944 as uh, an airport or air base, and all of a sudden the whole area has become. You listen to the minister, and then I, I think that from Abuja, he sort of retracted, you know, uh, for, and, and, and in the statement... He, he's not retracted anything. Oh, okay, he didn't. Well, but the, the, if you listen to the East Dade Kotopong Development Trust, you can also get a sense that there was an expression of an intention to acquire that land. So they, they haven't acquired the land yet. And, and all that. So let's, let's get our facts right whenever we are making pronouncements as ministers of state because uh, a lot depends on us and a lot is expected of us. And also, uh, one thing that I think that those of us who are in other government or opposition should learn to do is to appreciate the importance of respecting institutions. Like Joyce Bauer has indicated, uh, there are ways of communicating to the former president if you think there's an issue that you need to draw his attention to, to choose that platform and do it the way that he has done is, is clearly very uh, inappropriate. I'm not saying that all of us have been perfect okay. in the past. We've all made right. our mistakes we, in we public very little communication. Time. Yep. But I will advise mm -hmm. that he should just uh, withdraw, apologize, okay. and then let's move on. He's not doing <coughs> that. He, he says that, look, 
He was simply giving the president an advice. <laughs> but when you listen to what he had to say about what appeared to have been a deliberate scheme to sell the lands rather than have it for the military and then be part of those who will sort of take leaseholds of the land and go and build and live in. And then he took his time to mention the president, the former president, once, twice. <coughs> he was obviously not giving any advice. Well, he was. And I have spoken to the minister personally. When the news broke, I met him in the lobby of parliament and I asked him, that, what is it that you've gone to see that is generating all this bra? Then he indicated to me that, look, bear in mind that the former president, until only January 7th, was a commander in chief of the Ghana Armed Forces. Right. So he's deemed to have been in the know of what it is that the military lands issues were all about. Over the years, the military had been struggling because of encroachment that clearly is eating into the Burma camp enclave as to where to draw an appropriate boundary. And deal with the rest of the land with the, 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 the original owners and all that. So when the road was constructed, the new road, it became a natural boundary that the military had decided that, OK, from this point all the way to Bema Camp is an area that we have an interest that we need to formalize our paperwork over. So the president at the time knew so if he has gone to live there, knowing very well the intentions of the military, clearly, it was proper for the minister to advise him to leave so that what needs to be done can be done. He wasn't accusing him of anything. And people are indeed buying the lands. After all, the president lives there. And that's why he said that, look, he expects him to have protected the interest of the military, particularly in relation to the office that he had occupied only up to protect, January. Protect how? He's the immediate past commander in chief. Uh -huh. He knew all the issues that relate to the military. Issues and as, indeed, in, as in the fact that what, what the, the military issue? has an the, interest. What is the issue? The you military, see, the military has see, an intention to, to buy, acquire. You see, acquire. as we speak, government can acquire any land mm. in this country that it deems in the public interest, including the area or the buffer of the Bema camp right. enclave. Mm. Are you aware that they built a military cemetery at the back? Yeah, they, say, they, they say, I think part of it claim, part of it is that it's deliberate to sort of keep... Absolutely. Of okay, so all that area, it, the military realizes that, look, if we don't protect it, it is going to impact the, the, the operations of the Ghana Armed Forces. Mm. And so what he was seeking to say was that Mr. Mahama knew that this area, assuming, and from what the, that the quote of poor people are saying, that yes, there has been mention of acquisition, but that has not been done. But if he knows that the military intends to formalize some acquisition of additional lands in that area up to the road, and he goes to live on the very land that the military intends to formalize acquisition over. He lives on land. Is it wrong he lives, for he him on to land, say that what you are doing acquired, clearly... Land acquired by private estate developers, correct? Yes, I agree. So what's, what's the former president's blame here? Why, what's, what, 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 what did he say? Inappropriateness, what they, what, is that it? That don't go and be part of... Don't, don't go and have any interest in a land or you know as it were that has been given to or sold to acquired by Samson, we private all, developers we all heard the tip that you just played and he said clearly in there that he is advising the former president mm. he didn't say that he owned the land in that area all he's saying is that there was plenty excuse that the military did not have money to formalize the acquisition. Mm. Yet government officials 
were, were buying. Oh, but you just said it's now, not the military I, that will buy or acquire the land. It will be the, the Of course, the you know the buying. finances of this country. It's not for me to sit here So and you still haven't that. acquired the land? Yet. I'm not aware. I, I do not know. <laughs> but you see, what, what, what the, fin the defense minister was saying, more assuaging, okay? Angry. This is, well, maybe the tone, we can have a conversation about that. I don't have any problem. But the substance of what it is that he was mm. conveying, okay. that a senior, the, in fact, the commander-in-chief, mm. knowing by virtue of your office that this area is of interest to the military, how do you go and live there? That's, that's what I got him to be saying. Right. Okay. Um, Kuku, hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, how have you followed... Uh, you, you know this particular issue and there's an aspect that people have been you know paying attention to <coughs> saying that the defense minister his conduct his conduct in the manner in which he, he did he went about it is is unbefitting of a defense minister <laughs> I, 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 that's not a subject matter mm. it's oh. now. Uh, but look the advice if he did it was an advice could have been communicated a different manner, not at the press conference and the manner in which it was done. Okay, that's my view. It was needless. Huh? Even if what he was saying was factual and truthful, communication to a former president, I think, should be done in a different way. It helps grow. We've all had our partisanships. We're still, soft, I mean, encountering them. We're building a nation. We're building a democracy. We should try as much as possible, mm. you know, to cut out some of these things. So you might have Agreed. a good point, but how to communicate it, the way to convey it, the effect you want to have. It's a former president we are talking about here. Okay? If the others or the fringes would want to attack each other, attack their political opponents and the rest, not people who've entrusted with a certain position. You know, the way and manner to communicate it. I like Nitu very well. Mm. He's a young man. Huh? And I'm happy somebody of his was made a minister of defense and things. Don't forget I'm a barracks boy. Mm. My father was also a minister of defense. You know. But clearly the communication I've spoken to him too. I've listened to him and I've come to the judgment that communication was needless and not properly it's not refined. Mm. I have to be honest. Mm. You know, but but like beyond the, the, yeah. this thing, we still I'm still checking that place. There are still legal issues. Yeah. Yes, of course, there are still legal issues. And then the armed forces own assets and things too. If you recall from the Kufo days, there was a huge uproar over army lands and things where the chief of defense staff is supposed to stay and all that. We have to take our time and deal with those things properly. Okay. The very moment emotions and attacks come in, you destroy a lot of things. Right. So I think the minister mm. should accept that perhaps he didn't communicate effectively. And if they can let the former president know, look, no big deal. No, sorry for that gaff. We, we move on okay, you believe he should apologize still. He says, sorry for that gaffe. Um, yeah. the, the office of the former president issued a statement and said, among other things, that, quote, this office is appalled at the minister's unfounded accusation because any serious defense minister with the military intelligence apparatus under him would have known <laughs> that <laughs> President Mahama has no claim to the ownership of the land of the property in which he recites the former president and his family as is commonly known currently reside in a residential estate developed by a private a private real estate development company the estate has been in existence for several years and the former first family lives peacefully with several Ghanaian and expatriate neighbors unquote her suggestion is that, Defense Minister, you ought to know first that these are the facts, so that you don't go saying he's living in a place that will give people the sense that it is okay to be there, when the property is already giving out and people are already living there. 
So he was wrong. Me? Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I, you know, for me, I, as far as I'm concerned, I think all has been said. There's been a clear factual and legal error as far as um, the assertion of ownership, among others. Um, and I don't think that much yeah. is an issue. Well, he, he insists that, that he didn't that, say he owns right, land. Right. So that one is not an issue at the stage. Um, in terms of that giving others the bravado and encouragement to go live there, it is debatable. And the point yeah. he made, the point the minister made, is uh, worthy of note that if a president lives in an area, others may live there assuming that the, the, the installation of facility establishment is a sensitive one. Let's pay attention to what happened when the plane uh, went is it Elwak area? Yeah, it was a cargo plane. Some yeah. time area. Mm. Elwak itself, for example, doesn't have to be there. Mm. In some countries, there will be no Elwak where it is because it is in the line of a flight dissension. So when land in an area, which ordinarily was good land, suddenly becomes proximate <coughs> to sensitive installations, sensitive establishments, the, state will the acquire. character of the land can change and the state can acquire it. I'm not even sure why the legal issues are the way they are because ordinarily, the states, and now we are hearing facts about 1944, among others. Mm -hmm. The states ordinarily should have just used the instrument given it by the power of states, the mm -hmm. State Lands Act. Just acquire that area, and then we deal with the issue of compensation moving forward. But we still have all these confusions ongoing. But the military, indeed, has the right and authority to say that per their own practices and the defense ministry's judgment, among others, the states can just acquire it and resettle the people involved properly or now exercise superintendence and control over the development of the area. But this debate, but there's something uh, uh, Mr. Ayariga said, which you know caught my attention. And I, it's something I've been passionate about. I don't have the time, unfortunately. So spare me one minute. And that has to do with the management of state lands. Mm. I think our governments have resoundingly failed us as far as the management of state lands in Ghana um, is the way it is. The reason I say this is the Constitution says the state lands are vested, vested in the president as a trustee to be held in trust for the people of Ghana. Therefore, state lands in Ghana are vested in the pres presidency or the president as a trust. Okay. So the principle of trusteeship, if you know what a trustee is, mm. a trustee is supposed to exercise diligence, mm -hmm. exercise good investment judgment, among mm. others, and ensure the avoidance of waste. Right. If any public land is sold to any private person, mm. the key question we have to ask is whether that is in the interest okay. of the public. Thank you. I think that one would demand. Thank you. Yes, Thank you very much. And uh, Kofi Abochi is the dean of the GIMPA. Uh, law faculty, thank you very much for making time to be in the studio and help us with the education that you've given. Mm -hmm. Also, Abdul Malik Kubako is editor in chief of the New Crusading Guide newspaper. Mahama Yarga is MP, Boku Central constituency, and Andrew Ejapamesa is MP, second D. Thank you very much, gentlemen. I'm Samson Ladi Ayenni, and this has been News File dedicated to the memory of. Kujo Asare Bafo Echampon Kaba, who has just been seen, uh, if you like, figuratively to say to his maker. Thank you. My outfit, as always, is by Latida. Have a good afternoon.